Well, this year marks a major milestone for a Catholic group that does outreach on U.S. college campuses. FOCUS, an acronym for Fellowship of Catholic University Students, is turning 25 years old. FOCUS missionaries receive training, then are sent to college campuses. There, they encourage students to develop a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Joining us now from Rome is Curtis Martin, founder and CEO of Focus. Curtis, great to be with you, and congratulations on your milestone. That is just wonderful. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about Focus and also how many missionaries you have and how many students uh, have been helped along the way? Sure, Tracy, thanks. Great to be with you as well. Focus started 25 years ago. We're celebrating our anniversary. And we started with two part-time missionaries at that time. And over the years, every year we've grown. And now we have almost 1,000 full-time missionaries serving 50,000 or more students and have already reached another 50,000 who graduated and are on doing other things in life now as hopefully missionary disciples. We've been able to uh, see the impact. We're trying to do what Jesus asked us to do. At the end of his life, the, uh, the last thing that Jesus said was, go make disciples of all nations. So we're trying to reach people, invite them to faith in Jesus Christ and to live as disciples and then invite others to do the same. And in doing so, we hope to reach this generation in this generation. And Curtis, um, you know, tell us exactly how, you know, it started, how Focus started and why did you decide to target college campuses? Great question. In some ways, Focus started right here on EWTN. It was doing a show with Scott Hahn and Mother Angelica, and she asked us why we were there. We said to launch the Fellowship of Catholic University Students. Within the year, we had invited a couple of people to join us as part-time missionaries and uh, began to train them. Dr. Hahn was working with us, Tim Gray, Ted Sri, and others, and it's just been wonderful to watch. We send recent college graduates, after some training and formation, back onto college campuses with a team, and they start to share life with college students, share their faith with college students, and invite them to live as disciples. That is just so incredible. Um, I'm also curious, how is Focus celebrating its 25th anniversary? What can you tell us about that? Do you have any uh, special events planned? Well, one of the things I want to do for our 25th anniversary is do an interview with you, so thank you for that. I'm also here in Rome right now with our team. We've got our board members who are celebrating the anniversary. We've got other key volunteers and senior staff. Earlier today, we were at the tomb of St. Paul praying, the greatest evangelist of all times, praying for, uh, for his intercession and at his side. And then just a few minutes ago, I was at the tomb of St. Peter with my wife and others, uh, again, praying for the intercession of these great founders of the church for the grace to continue to serve and bring more and more people to a living faith and a saving faith in Jesus Christ. That is great. It's so wonderful. Curtis, before I let you go, um, what else would you like people to know about Focus? Well, I'd like to be people to know that really the, the news that's out there frequently makes it sound like the world is falling apart, and it is in many, many ways. But the white-hot core of the Catholic Church is growing. It's growing. We've watched literally the last 25 years over a 1,000 young people not only embrace Christ, but embrace religious and seminary vocations on their way to the priesthood, half of them in the last five years, to be able to see the, the momentum that's being generated, to be able to see that young people are, are choosing Christ, choosing the Catholic faith in the midst of a world that's becoming more and more more hostile to Jesus and our Catholic Church. But the reality of the matter is when Jesus is preached vibrantly and effectively, people respond. I like to say that light shines farther in the darkness than it does in the daytime. In the daytime, you can see the sun. At nighttime, you can see the stars. And we have to recognize that our college campuses and our culture in general are in a very, very dark place. And people are suffering. We think everybody's happy and having a great time. They're not. They're miserable. Recent reports said that 60% of young women are, are suffering depression. That's not acceptable. Half of those have thought about suicide. People without Christ are miserable. We're trying to get the word out because we really believe that Jesus Christ is the key, not only to eternal salvation, that's really important, but also to a meaningful life here on earth. And so to be able to recognize we're going to have great relationships, not only with God, but with one another, if we allow the truth and goodness of Christ to radiate out of us through the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Curtis, thank you so much for coming on and talking to us. We appreciate it. Congratulations again, and God bless you and all that you do.